That be like y'all need to stop it. We swap a car and they rock us. These promoters just shots and they partners. It's gonna be hard trying to stop us. Speaking for the fans when I say they offending me. But really, y'all part of the problem. Blinded by hell, you don't see the real enemy. You motherfucker be tempting me. Don't like your energy. You think you pimping me. We fight for over 500 centuries. No penitentiary. I'm smoking plenty weed. I don't need no sympathy. Earl Spence versus Crawford. Gonna be all the time. Regardless of who win or lose, that's still gonna be in the hall of fame. So I ain't even in my feelings. Regardless of the rain, I'm chilling. Numb to the pain, no feeling. Can't do the same, dope feeling. We're good to, but I ain't no villain. Lost my top, so it ain't no silly. Rhyme versus pain, just fight on that feeling. Cause we already know that tank gon' kill him. I wanna see tank versus Devin Haney. Even Frank Warren. What about Shakur? Boxing is not a sport that we can afford. Cause we know that rich people ride the board. This I cannot ignore. I've never been shot before. The pain is burning inside. My people die. It's just like a hunter who shot a bull. Damn. I put my heart in this box. They be like, y'all need to stop it. We swap our car and they rob us. These promoters, the shots and they partners. It's gonna be hard trying to stop us. Speaking for the fan when I say they're offending me. But really, y'all part of the problem. Blinded by her, you don't see the real enemy. What it do, what it do. It's 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles Chime. Say, man. The blame game between Shakur and Tank Davis. Whose fault is it? Uh, it's Tank's fault. It's Shakur's fault. Um, you motherfuckers digging deep. Um, motherfuckers you using quotes from two years ago <laughs> to explain your point that Shakur dug uh, Tank. And you're digging up old shit and just digging up old clips. And, um... I think you motherfuckers more focused on who's right and who's wrong. Um, or winning an uh, argument. I don't know, but either way it go, we ain't getting a fight. And I don't know if we'll ever get it. And um, I think that's more what we need to talk about. Um, it ain't what it is. Um, first and foremost, I must take... Uh, accountability or uh, as a con as a content creator um now nah, bro just speaking on the youtube boxing community and all you motherfuckers uh we dropped the ball i just want to say that first and foremost we dropped the ball fans content credit we dropped the ball i told you we treated this fight like it was earl spence uh kill brook we treated this shit like it was some, yeah, uh, Jamal Charlo versus Julian J. Rod. And that was a cool fight. And I love the Kill Brook and Earl Spence fight. Tank Davis versus Shakur Stevenson is the best fight in boxing to make. Um, yeah. Um, you know, a year and a half ago it was Tank versus Devin, but. I don't know. Devin probably finna go to 47. And I don't know. Uh, but that was the fight. But Nana Shakur is move up to 135. This is the only fight to make. And we act like it's just regular shit. In my opinion, we treated it like it was just some regular shit. So I must say that we dropped the ball. Uh, it was a few debates over this shit. Motherfuckers argued a little bit. Um, I'm sorry. This is a better fight than... And I was hyped for Earl Spence versus Turn Crawford. Don't get it twisted. I was... Boy, I was shaking when that motherfucking first bell rung. But, um... This is a better fight. Especially from a skill set. Uh, Bud is highly skilled. But what I'm saying... And Earl is too, but... Tank versus Shakur. It's a better fight. Um... Listen, because Earl versus Bud, a lot of people thought, okay, either Earl going to dog walk Bud and be too strong for him, or Bud, Bud going to pick him apart. Um, this scenario is different. You're dealing with a fighter that all it takes is one punch. 
but he fighting a fighter with the best fucking defense in box. And we act like that shit is just some regular shit. I just don't understand it. Uh, I can't comprehend it. I, I just, I, 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 I listen. I've been at a loss for words. Uh, I, I just don't know. I just been, I don't know. Just as the days go by and just. You know, every step I take, every move I make, every single day, every time I pray, I'll be missing you. You know, just sad shit, just, this shit sad. This shit sad like that goddamn song. Um, it's, it's a sad day in boxing. <laughs> yeah, it's a sad ass, I swear, this some sad shit. This some sad and lonely ass shit. Um, I'll tell you, as a boxing fan, you damn near gotta be puzzled. It, it, listen, I know we all like to say we 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 rarely get the best fight in the best, but this, you just, bro, it's too much. Listen, I, I want to get my point across without getting too frustrated. We dealing with a situation where Shakur is no longer signed with top rank, free agent. Not only that, okay, well, Shakur gonna have to wait because Tank finna fight Loma because Loma knocked out Cambosis. I watched up Cambosis, and it's such a demand for uh, Tank versus Loma. Um, I'm telling you, bro, um, what what Tank knocked Frank out in, what, in the ninth round? Um, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, bro, it wasn't five minutes after his post-fight uh, interview, he was on the phone with Loma and them people. Let me tell you something. They was in negotiations before he got on the plane. I'm, I'm just telling you, that shit was smooth like a motherfucker. Uh, Tank showed Loma the utmost respect, like I knew he would. That's his big homie. Uh, just like Canelo used to be his big homie until he lost the bevel. But that's when he said, oh, I'm better than, I think I'm better than Canelo. I think I'm more skilled. You're yeah, gonna wait till he lost the bill, but he was your hero before then, and you tried to wear his gloves. But anyway, that's not the subject. We must talk about. Listen, what I'm saying is, bro, Shakur was a free agent, bro. Damn this the zone shit. When, I'm talking about before that. We've had a lot of, bro, we had so much time. Y'all had that shit figured out with Loma versus Tank. Bro, y'all had them negotiations damn near done in two days. It was only that Loma pulled out. That shit happened so fast. You know, and, and Kenny and uh, Kevin, I always talking about, I, I hate that. Because, you know, you like them homies. You know you ever had a homie that worked for a big homie and it's, and, and the big homie really got keys and he really, and you are, you are, you, you, you are, you are, you are four and a baby type motherfucker. Yeah, you got a couple zips or some, and you, but you talk like you the man. No, Pimpin, uh, Tank is the big boss. And and Kenny and uh Calvin, they always lying over there with that boy. Uh but anyway. I I'm so t I swear to God if I if I hear you motherfuckers say one more motherfucking time that you motherfuckers gonna send a contract, I'm just getting tired. Bro, just get in the gym and, and work on your work on this crap, come up with some game plans. You motherfuckers need to study Shakira a little bit more. Maybe it'll give you some more confidence. I'm just getting tired of you motherfuckers talking about, well, we sent the, you ain't sent the goddamn thing. I have never heard a fighter say, I got a contract and it came from Kenny or uh, Coach Gavin. <laughs> nah, bro, do what you do best and stay in the gym, Pimpin. Uh, listen, um, <sighs> drop the ball, bro. Uh, and, and I just gotta say, yeah, fans, we dropped it. But it's more pressure on Tank and Shakur. You motherfuckers got to fight. Fuck us. That we just talk shit. We just we just evaluate the situation and give our little two three cents. You know, a couple of pennies and some change. We give our little shit on it, and it's entertaining. And and I know you motherfuckers listen to this sauce. But what I'm saying is, bro, it's up to you motherfuckers to fight. It ain't up to us. We ain't got to get in the ring. It's up to y'all. And both of y'all have dropped the ball. You know, I've been I've been trying to take over Shakur lately. You know, <laughs> even though you know Shakur done Shakur done created seven different identities. I don't know who he is. I don't know who he is. Uh, but I try to <laughs> I try to still embrace the brother. Uh, cause <laughs> you know, um, I, I'm gonna tell you something. We all struggle as black men with identity crisis. I must admit that we all struggle. 
Uh, we all got a white boy last name, so we struggle. Uh, we don't know who the fuck, we, you know, a black man try to figure out his whole life, uh, who the fuck is he? His identity, so we all have a little identity uh, situation, but Shakur, um, you struggling, bro, with who, you, who do you want to be? Well, I want to be, listen, who the fuck do you want to be? Uh, you tried to be Tupac, uh, I'm talking about the one that went to jail, uh, that version, not Brenda's having a baby. Uh, I'm talking about, I'm talking about hit him up, Tupac. You tried that shit. All you needed was a bandana on the top of your shit. But what I'm saying is, bro, you tried that and then you tried, well, first you tried to smile. Just the kid that just smile all the, all you used to do was smile. You used to then talk. <laughs> Shakur used to just smile. Oh, I remember, smile for me that's all you used to do I i'm telling you bro four years ago uh shakur just used to smile i swear to god <laughs> that mother used to smile while he was fighting and everything just smile uh buck too bad but anyway uh what i'm saying is <laughs> he just done tried too much shit. uh i think i don't know you ain't went to Allah yet but i don't know maybe you're a christian but what i'm saying is um that could affect you in the ring bro you just you you arguably the smartest fighter in boxing. You got the best defense. You definitely got top three ring IQ in boxing. You definitely top five pound for pound. But um, I don't know, bro. Um, sometimes we can question ourselves, and you know, when you look in that mirror, and I, I'm talking to the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his way. When you look at that man in the mirror, bro, I just wonder, uh, what do you see? What do you see, bro? You struggling, and that could, because I'm telling you, bro, uh, I talk that shit, bro, but Tank is a spectacular fighter, and he gonna make you answer some questions that you have never asked yourself. Give a fuck, good best defense in boxing or not, bro. He going you gotta be mentally tough to beat Tank, bro. Just gonna say it, and I think you are tough, and you definitely physically tough and all that third, and you very strong and you very smart, but you're gonna have to dig deep and you're gonna have to be mentally tougher than you've ever been. You gotta be mentally tough and and to have that and to understand that, bro, you must you gotta take care of some things, bro, uh within yourself, bro. You got to examine yourself, bro, and figure out who you want to be. You want to be the nice guy, the bad guy, good cop, bad cop. What the fuck do you want to be? You want to be a thug? Uh, do you want to be a... I, what do you want to be, bro? What do you... You've tried everything, and it's not uh, help fans embrace you. I'm not saying you don't have fans, bro, but uh, the world, the boxing world shit on you a lot. Uh, especially these last two performances. And if you ask me, I think mainstream has uh, used these performances, which I don't think the are to them. And I really don't, I, you know, the De Los Santos fight is what it is, but I wouldn't just disgust it like you motherfuckers. You just, it was just overreacting to me. But anyway, they've used that to try to dumb down the tank versus Shakur. What all Shakur is going to do is just run and it's not going to be action packed and this and that. Bro, get the fuck out of here. Uh, T.O.B. Loma, but that shit wasn't action-packed at all. Wasn't a lot of punches thrown at all. That shit was not exciting at all. But anyway, uh, let me not get on T.O. because I'll be going 20 minutes on it. Boy, that motherfucker got an alien head, but I'm going I'm to get off that. I ain't be trying to uh, arch his eyebrow. I ain't be putting them slashes. You know a motherfucker used to slash, we used to slash the eyebrows and shit put about two, three slashes, <laughs> but uh, he be trying to do that. Bro, just stay out the sauce. Stay out the pot, bro. Listen, bro, uh, anyway, back to taking the good. Um, you motherfuckers. I, 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 I ain't picking no side. Just like I did with Earl and uh, uh, Terrence uh, Crawford. Um, I just ain't picking no sides, bro, because I think both of y'all have dropped the ball. Uh, Tank, yeah, he the star, and the ball is in his court. And, yeah, he could easily send you a contract. And, yeah, he, he couldn't wait to fight Loma, and he has no enthusiasm to fight you. Uh, the boy might go on and uh, fight Ryo. Um, you know, and he don't give a fuck about no titles, but he might go up to 140. 
uh, and and that's an easy work though. That's that's the easiest fight at 144 as for his champions. Uh, Poel might give him a tougher fight than uh Ry Ryo can crack though. The motherfucker can crack. I give him that. You outbox Cruz, bro. You can't outbox Tank. That's a fact. You ain't a better boxer than Barrios. You're not finna outbox Tank. But you got pop though. I will give you that. That motherfucker can crack. But anyway, um, you both dropped the ball. Uh, Tank bad and bougie. Uh, and I've been disappointing him as usual with what he do. But um, when he in the ring, bro, I'm I'm, I'm tuned in. You understand me? When he in the ring, I'm watching because I'm watching something special. But um, Tank moves like that when it comes to black fighters. That's what he do. Uh, you know, I, and I don't even count that Frank shit. I'm just saying, nah, listen, the Frank win was impressive, but I ain't finna count that as, yeah, he fighting elite black fighter. Now nah, he was a good black fighter. It's not the black fighter. We been talking about Devin and Shakur and everybody know it. So you motherfuckers ain't gonna scapegoat, uh, <laughs> Frank. And I hope Frank do fight, uh, Della Santos. Uh, that'll be a good little fight though. But, um. I think Abdullah will stop Frank. I, I just said it. I don't care what nobody thinks. I think Abdullah will stop him. Yeah. And I think he'll stop Kid Austin. You know, brief intermission, um, commercial break, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I just got to say this. Um, to all black channels, uh, <laughs> uh, we need to... <laughs> Listen... All I'm going to say is, bro, uh, Floyd uh, Schofield Sr., bro, the shit that they say about Devin, uh, they say about Bill and when people can't stand Bill, so that's why they don't like Dev. Bro, motherfuckers should really not like you, bro. It ain't just that you said uh, steroids, yeah, it was in the system, but it didn't help him beat Devin. Damn that, bro. Um, you act as a... You talk and act just like a black man that grew up in America. We wouldn't know the difference, bro, if we hear you on the corner talking. But uh, you have went Dominican and now, but I seen you over there with old Moonshine, uh, drinking 40s and uh, Code 45s and, and slip small liquor and shit with that <laughs> bootleg uh, uh, Kentucky Deluxe. Uh, goddamn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Irk and Jerk drinking that, bro. <laughs> Not the Irk. Yeah, Irk and Jerk. Uh, goddamn me, Seagull Self and Drink it. <laughs> Seagull Self. Seagull Self drinking ass. Goddamn me. Oh, English. Uh, sipping ass. But anyway, uh, I seen you over there with him, bro. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to tell you one thing. I just want to make this very clear. When I see shit, I'm never looking for something. I just be scrolling through YouTube. And I seen a video where you was trying to clown Greg Hackett another black man as you are but you don't claim to be no more but you was on his channel a channel that always diss black people and try to spark this black and latino walk i think that's what he's trying to do but he don't want to fight and you know what's crazy uh you know what i um i think he do go to fights though but ain't nobody slapped him yet i just don't know but what i'm saying is um nah i seen you on there bro and you Using his platform to diss another black. Listen, if you gonna go Dominican, bro, just stay Dominican and just don't even speak on us, bro. Don't even speak on black folks. Just don't because we got you hot. Yeah, I seen you on Trill Boxing Talk first, bro. That's why I seen you when when nobody was really talking about Kid. And I really like Kid Austin. I've always been a fan of him. I love his hunger. Um, yeah, you from Texas, bro. But yeah, you understand me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I saw you on Trill. That's why I saw you. So uh no, nah, it was black platforms that put you on the map. Uh so I don't know, bro. I don't know what would not got into you, but I don't know, maybe you trying you just trying anything to think it's gonna make you a star, but it won't. Uh it ain't no Dominican fighters that's a star. Ain't no diss to them, but I it ain't none. That's a star. It's some pretty good fighters they got. Yeah, Adam, some cool shit. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, boy, all right. But listen, uh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't think you need to be on no black platform. That's just me. You've gone Dominican and that's, yeah, you said, you said, and your son said for his grandma, he promised her that, uh, some that he gonna do it for the demand. Do it for them. Do it for them, bro. Um, do it. So, uh, yeah, you no longer need our services, so we don't need to, uh, fuck with you. So, that just, I just thought I'd throw that out there. So, anyway, uh, but anyway, um, I got down. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna I'm I'm get out there. Cause I, I, that damn moonshine motherfucker. That motherfucker said, uh, blacks can't get mad at Latinos using the N word because we brought this word to the universe and we made it a cultural thing so everybody can say it. Let me tell you something. I just want to say this and I want to say it and I don't like saying it that often, but I'm going to say this shit. Uh, just because you heard N word in a rap song don't mean you can motherfucking say it, motherfucker. Bro, I'm telling you, bro, I, I just know. Let me get off drunk. Let me get off that drunk motherfucker, bro. I, I just, you know, I told you, bro, we were some cold ass teenagers. We used to knock out drunks. <laughs> I'm just telling you. You know the motherfucker talking that shit, and yeah, it, it was cruel. I don't, even, I don't even want to talk about that because I'm looking, you know. But uh, yeah, we was wild, bro. But these little young motherfuckers today, they even call you can be in a wheelchair and they'll whoop your ass. But now nah, we, we, you know. But anyway, um, but now, nah, bro, um, <laughs> that motherfucker, bro, you just to get too comfortable. Uh, I always got something to say about black folk, but I ain't never heard you say nothing about a white boy. I ain't never heard you uh, frustrated with white folks or calling race. I ain't never seen, but your attack is always on blacks. Um, I don't know, but um, anyway, um, yeah, you motherfuckers dropped the ball, bro. Um, you know another thing I gotta say. You might, this some baddest one hit my hand shit. Um, you motherfuckers might be scared of each other. Tank, you are very hesitant to fight Shakur. You talk that shit, you gonna knock them out. And I don't think you're scared of them. But what I'm saying, you motherfuckers acting like y'all scared of each other. Listen, yeah, Shakur has been calling for this fight. But the energy is different and I'm gonna call that shit out. I ain't got time to be feeling sorry for Shakur. I can't do it. Yeah, it's fucked up. And Tank act bougie. And I just lose more and more respect from Tank. No matter how spectacular you look in the ring, bro. I, I, you just, bro. You, you running out of options, bro. You really running out of options, bro. You fight Shakur, that's one of the, that's not just his biggest payday. It's, it's going to be one of your biggest paydays, bro. You know it. I know you see it. I know you see it, bro. You motherfuckers. Um, yeah, this some fake shit. Um, oh, talk behind each other back ass shit. But uh, smiling. But anyway, um, Tank is very bougie and he's in no rush to fight you. But... Shakur, you've been too motherfucking cool. You've been so understanding. You've been so fucking nice about it. Bro, I seen you. I seen you in three or four interviews say the same shit. Well, I mean, me and Tank Davis, we gonna fight. Just know the fight gonna happen. Neither one of us is ducking each other. Nah, we ain't scared of each other. But the fight gonna happen. We, we know it's gonna happen. And so it just don't matter. What? What about right now? You was a free agent. Uh, Loma pulled out the fight. Right now, ain't no it's going to happen. You became too complacent, and you was cool with that shit not happening right now. I don't know. You you need another fight to build your confidence. I, I'm just going to say it, bro. Uh, you, you don't seem too enthused to fight, Tank. Like I said, you motherfuckers might be scared of each other. 
Nah, bro. And uh, y'all fan bases ain't too crunk about y'all. Y'all just trying to win an argument. I don't think none of you motherfuckers want to see. <laughs> see, cause Earl Spence fans wanted to wanted that Crawford fight. Then Crawford fans wanted that Earl Spence. You tank motherfuckers, y'all don't want that Shakur smoke. And Shakur fan, you motherfuckers been quiet, bro. Let me tell you something, and I want to make something very clear. When I say I want Shakur to really get at tank, I don't. You, it ain't got to be disrespectful. This ain't got to be no game banging shit. Y'all ain't got to be fighting in the club and shit. But what I'm saying is, uh, just like you knew where Devin was gonna be, I don't know. I don't know if you had somebody following him or what. I, you just knew where the fuck he was at, uh, and you pulled up at a party and you sent a note and about with a bottle or some shit like that, saying when we gonna fight. Oh, uh, yeah, bro. Tank be around. You know, y'all ain't never even had, like when Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence met face to face and they had the hoodies on. And that's when they, you, that shit built the fuck out of that fight. When they, when they met face to face and talked they shit, but was still respectful, but talked they shit. I'm going to beat your motherfucking ass. Man, you got me fucked up. You can't fuck with me. Knock out who? Like, bro. Man, you too little. You too light in the ass. Like, y'all ain't, you ain't met up with them face to face. Yeah, last time y'all met y'all was hugged up taking a picture on some bro type shit. <laughs> nah, so you ain't, you ain't pushing it, Shakur. Listen, some may say, what well, Shakur done asked for the fight, what more you want, 903? The energy is different. That's all I'm And I'm not saying you got to have the same energy towards Tank that you had for Devin. But you don't even have the same energy for Tank that you had for Oscar Valdez. We're going to talk real shit. You ain't got the time. You ain't got the energy for Tank that you had for Jamel Heron. Because you knew those was more winnable fights. That's the answer to that question. You don't have the same energy for Tank because he can knock your ass out with one punch. And Tank, Tank, Tank scared that he may not be able to land that shit. I don't, it, me personally, if he was to knock out Shakur, it would have to be with the right hook. I don't think the straight left knocks out uh, uh, Shakur. Shakur can take some shots. The right hook, though, is vicious. Uh, and if he hit behind that ear, it can clip him. You won't land the uppercut on Shakur. I'm predicting that if the fight ever happened. You'll never land an uppercut. You'll never land it. Uh, Shakur got too much control of distance. Not, and he ain't going to keep his head on the line on the inside. You won't land the uppercut, but I can see you landing some straight lefts. Uh, but the right hook could be vicious. But uh, And that straight left hurt. But that uppercut, it, it's a different level of power. But I don't see you landing that shot. I don't see. I definitely see you throwing the uppercut, but I don't see you landing. I'm talking about flush like you landed on Santa Cruz and shit like that. I don't see you landing it flush. But you motherfuckers, uh, yeah, bro, there's some elementary shit. Uh, fan, I can tell you, bro, boxing world, it's starting to seem like a daycare. You motherfuckers need to grow the fuck up. Grow the fuck up. I don't give a fuck about being right and, and who's wrong. And, there's a right and a wrong way to love somebody. I don't give a fuck who right or wrong, bro. I just want to see the fight. I just want to see the fight. So, Shakur, um, I got to be honest. Um, the zone showed you more love than PBC, though. PBC don't want you. Um, but they got you fighting Joe Cardina on the undercard. Um, it's not a good look, bro, but at least you stand active. Um, I definitely... I got it. I got it. Seventy thirty. I blame Tank seventy percent, but I blame Shakur thirty percent. He thirty percent to blame. Seventy percent is uh Tank. Um, Tank, you can make this fight tomorrow, but you you full of shit, bro. You full of shit, uh, bro. You you searching every option. Shakur is a last resort type shit, just like Devin is. Bro, I'm telling you, bro, you would much rather fight T.O. And if you was to say you was to fight T.O. tomorrow, fans would lose their mind and everybody agree on that shit. 
everybody would agree on that shit. Um, yeah, it'd be with some respectful shit, but we dropped the ball. Boxing fans dropped the ball. Shakur Tank, y'all dropped the ball, bro. Uh, I I don't know. Sometimes Shakur, I do think you want to be Tank, homie, and you don't want to do. <laughs> I damn not think that sometimes. You really don't want to disrespect them too much because you want to be friends one day. And you want to be friends after the fight, so you don't want to you don't want to build up too much animosity. Bro, you don't disrespect. Bro, you you disrespected the fuck out of Jamel Hearn, and he was your homie. Nah, bro. That was when you were trying to play Tupac. <laughs> yeah, yeah, on some above the rim shit. This ain't this ain't the same nut so. Shit has changed. But anyway, uh, dropped the ball. So, uh, I mean, there's some cool fights around the corner, bro, but none of that shit is like Tank versus Shakur, and we act like it's regular shit. So, I'm not that excited uh, about boxing at this point. So, I ain't going to fake, fake it till I make it. I'm going to call this shit out. Uh, boxing is very boring right now at this point. Yeah, without Tank versus Shakur, uh, boxing is boring. Uh, Devin being cheated, no justice. Uh, Mexicans around here calling them the N-word and motherfucking drunk-ass content creators vouching for the N-word. And yeah, yeah, and y'all use it, so let us use it. And all this shit and us being disrespected, but we too busy disrespecting each other to understand that nobody respects us. So why you stupid motherfuckers arguing and trying to figure out there's a good and a wrong way to love somebody. Da -da 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 -da. A right way to love somebody. Damn, I went off note like a bit. Love me right. Yeah, why you trying to figure out who right and wrong and a good love <laughs> and a good way to love somebody. Try to figure that shit out. Uh, the fights ain't happening. You motherfuckers just um waiting on some other shit waiting on some more news that we ain't gonna get and just wishing on a star and hoping on some other shit and i wonder where you are but anyway this is 903 boxing i'm your host charge with that i'm out